One major issue in those talks came out of the pandemic. The union wants any agreement to include the right to work from home. CTV's Ottawa Bureau Chief Joyce Napier on the debate and how this negotiation may set a precedent for other workplaces. On the picket line in person today to fight for the right to work remotely. If I just need to come for this temporary time to be able to, in the long run, be able to stay from home and be there, um, it's definitely worth it. It's one of the main demands of the striking federal workers, the right to not have to work five days a week in one of the offices they occupied before the pandemic. It's not a good use of my time to have to go to the office. I don't feel that it is. We want a substantive telework agreement. And it seems the government is ready to concede that COVID has changed the working model, at least for the public sector. We are implementing a hybrid work model to best deliver uh, services, having a modern workplace that gives the flexibility to uh, public servants to work uh, from home two to three days a week. That means that work from home will be enshrined in the next collective agreement of Canada's federal public workforce. People don't want to go back to the office uh, 9 to 5 every day. Uh, they save a lot of time uh, without commuting. Uh, they have a better work-life balance in general. Uh, they feel they are more productive. And but more others work raise work questions work. about productivity. You go for a little walk, you walk, play with your dog, you play with your kids. If federal workers acquire that right, it could change the way Canadians work and what employers will have to offer. The federal government leads the way. So it's going to have a ripple effect in the union and non-union sector. It's going to become the main bargaining demand everywhere. In a hot labour market where unemployment is at 5%, more employees are demanding a work-life balance, the hybrid model for the future. About three in four Canadians are saying that they want more flexibility, and that comes uh, in two forms, mainly. Firstly, they're looking for greater flexibility over the hours that they work, and secondly, they're, they're looking for more flexibility over the location at which they work. But that doesn't mean that a majority of Canadians will have that option. Nurses, doctors, police officers, and service industry workers, among others, don't have that option. Omar? All right, Joyce Napier 